welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an access list that will block ping. So, one of the most common questions I get asked is, is how do you do this? And it's actually pretty simple, but uh, there is a, a right way to do it and a not so right way to do it. And it, it can be a little, little interesting, a little nuanced in finding the correct syntax in the access list to block it the right way. So, Let's go into GNS3. Going to drag in two routers. And I'm going to link them up together with fast ethernet. And I'm going to call one side just for kicks 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. It's going to be a slash 24. And the other side is going to be 1.1.1.2 slash 24. Make it real easy and uh, not have any loopbacks just to keep this video short. Gonna hit play on GNS3, routers are gonna start up, hit the console window. Everything fires up, because the awesome Core i7, it's really nice to have. Okay, so we've got uh, router one up. Let's set our IP addresses, enable ConfT, in fast zero zero and IP address of all ones and no shut. Go over to router two. And IP address one dot one dot one dot two and no shut. Probably configure the host name. Alright, so we should have reachability to each router. And there we go. Okay, so we have basic reachability between R1 and R2. We could ping each other. Now we want to put an access list to stop ping. So let's do it the wrong way. Okay, so you probably figured out that it's going to start with an access list command. And hopefully you also figured out that it's going to be extended access lists list. So more than 99, because 1 through 99 is a basic access list. So access list 100, deny, and as we hit question mark after that, you can see all the different protocols that we can deny. Well, ping falls under the ICMP protocol. Okay, so, well, you might think, okay, well, let's just do that. Deny ICMP, any, any. So from anywhere to anywhere. And what we'll do is, let's see, we'll hit question mark, but it, you know what? That looks okay. Why not? Then we have to add in another line, or else this is going to deny everything. Remember that implicit deny all at the end of every access list. We're going to have to do a permit IP any any. And hit enter. Okay, so we have an access list that denies ICMP messages. So and then we have another line permit I, any IP. Now we need to hook it into the interface, interface fast zero zero. And then it's going to be IP access group, the number of the access list. And we're going to do this inbound. All right, so let's see what we got here. We're going to exit out of there from R2, just hit the up arrow, ping all ones. Hey, we got a, a U. So we know something's there, but we can't ping it. Okay, well, it looks okay from R2. What about R1? What if I try to ping from R1 to R2? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. We're definitely killing everything. So uh, this access list is not only blocking inbound pings, it's going to be blocking our pings going out to anywhere. So double-edged sword, and it slaps us in the face and laughs at us. So what we want to do is we get want to get more granular. We want to make it so that outside routers can't ping us, but then we can ping outside. So we're going to have to add an extra little command to the end of our access list, and that's going to be the echo statement. And let's see. Let's actually blow away our access list. There you go. So no more access list 100. We still have the access group command. Uh, configured on interface fast zero zero. We could leave that. That's not a problem. 
Going to remake the access list. Do a question mark right there. It's still deny. ICMP any any. And when you do a question mark, you've got this echo and ping and echo and reply. Well, let's try the echo. Let's see what that, that does. Deny ICMP any any echo. And then we'll just hit enter right there. And we're going to keep having, going to still need that second line of permit IP any any. Okay, so that access list is done. We have an IP access group hooking that on to interface fast zero zero. Let's see if our pings die. Pings die just like before, so that's pretty good. And what about our pings going outside? Look at that, we have our pings going outside, so that extra echo statement at the end lets us ping out. So uh, if, you, if you didn't know about pings, ping is actually in two parts. There's an echo and there's an echo reply. So what you're doing by blocking incoming echoes is that you are killing all the inbound stuff, but yet you're allowing your echo replies to come back, which is pretty nice. Before, when you did the deny ICMP any any without anything after that, you've denied all ICMP, which is echoes, echo replies, and a whole bunch of other stuff that you probably don't want to do. So this is a, a better way to do it, and probably the preferred way that you might want to block pings in your network. Well, that was another Router Gods video. Thank you for watching.